Story spread across Israel as four hostages held by Hamas for more than 200 days reunited with loved ones, but their rescue came at a high cost for Palestinians. The Hamas-run health department claims that hundreds were killed during that operation. While the Biden administration celebrates the release, it reiterates a ceasefire is the only option to return the rest of the hostages and end the war. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Good morning, Dave and Danita. The rescues included one high-profile hostage reunited with her terminally ill mother. But once again, the high toll on Palestinian civilians is raising questions about the Israeli military's tactics. <laughs> Jubilation and devastation after a weekend Israeli military raid that rescued four hostages from the Gaza Strip, bringing them home to tearful reunions. <laughs> President Biden welcomed the news. We won't stop working until all the hostages come home and a ceasefire is reached. That is essential. But the rescues came at the expense of nearly 300 Palestinians killed in the raid, according to health officials in Hamas-run Gaza. A U.S. official with knowledge of the matter telling NBC News the U.S. provided intelligence that helped support the hostage rescues. Continue to reinforce the point that all of their military operations, including hostage rescue operations, should take every precaution to minimize the amount of civilian harm. As outrage grows over the ever-increasing toll on Palestinian civilians, Republican lawmakers seeking to redirect blame at Hamas. If you don't want your people killed in hostage rescue missions, then you shouldn't take hostages in the first place. You should release them once you have, and you certainly shouldn't hide them in civilian areas. While lawmakers in both parties are urging Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to start planning for Gaza's post-war future. You cannot occupy, Israel can't in my view, permanently Gaza. That will be a disaster for Israel. You cannot win this unless you participate or at least put forward some sense of hope for the future on the part of Palestinians. In a sign of Netanyahu's challenges, former Defense Minister Benny Gantz resigned from the Israeli War Cabinet, saying Netanyahu was blocking Israel from real victory. A senior Biden administration official tells NBC News the hostage rescues have strengthened Prime Minister Netanyahu's determination to pursue military operations, potentially complicating the push for a ceasefire deal, though critics are pointing to the very small number of hostages that have been freed through military efforts alone. Dave. All right. Alice Barr live from Washington. Thank you.